heard of it now from Republican lawmakers on a secret four-page memo. That memo deals with the Department of Justice and, and the FBI suggesting abuse of surveillance methods by both departments. Florida Congressman Republican Matt Gates with me now. Sir, good morning to you and a happy Friday to you. Let's we'll see whether or not you guys are working this weekend. Have you seen the memo, sir? Yes or no? I have, and I share the concerns that have just been expressed by Congressman Meadows and Congressman Jordan. Our republic is in jeopardy if we allow this type of a palace coup environment to continue to persist, and that's why uh, I'm one of the members of Congress who will be encouraging today uh, Intelligence Chairman Devin Nunes to release the memo. We can have a vote in the Intelligence Committee, a vote of the full House of Representatives, and this is a matter of such importance that I think we need to do it immediately. Well, I mean, listening to some of this reaction, characterize what's in the memo. What's it say? Unfortunately, I can't get into the specific details in a top secret document, but that's why we have to release it. I don't think it's appropriate for just members of Congress to be horrified by the activities that were, uh, that were undertaken during this endeavor, and that's why we've got to allow the American people to see it. I will tell you this, Bill. If we get this memo into the public square, heads are going to roll at the FBI and at the Department of Justice. One there comment is no said, way everyone keeps one their One comment job. said it was like the KGB. Uh, the, 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 this is really strong language. Is the suggestion that the abuse on behalf of federal government was indeed spying on Americans without their knowledge and without proper legal authority? Yes or no? Uh, again, that would get into the specific contents of the memo. I can tell you that we can never live in a country where this type of thing happens. Uh, and particularly, the authentication processes that are laid out in the memo are of such fiction. They are so laughable that they would never withstand scrutiny from the public. And what I'm worried about is that the cast of characters identified in this memo is not a group of people who are gone. Many of these people are still in our government. They still wield influence, and that's why we've got to get this information out But you, you out just in said people will be fired at the FBI and Department of Justice, And possibly right? worse. I think that there could be people who could face criminal consequences as a result of the activities that are laid out in this memo. And it's easy to see after reading this memo why Senator Grassley and why Senator Graham wanted to refer this matter for criminal prosecution. Laws were broken. Wow, this is a big deal here. Um, Will we see it, yes or no? Yes, I have every confidence after speaking with Paul Ryan and Devin Nunes that after we go through the right procedures and provide the adequate notice to the executive branch that we will release this memo, but we need the public to continue to call for it. And I'm encouraged that within the last half hour, there have been over 20,000 tweets on Twitter with the hashtag release the memo. It shows that the American public is demanding more transparency, and that's really how we drain the swamp in Washington, D.C., more transparency transparency, more no. sunshine. It's you've, the best antidote to corruption. You've said a lot. Matt Gates, the Republican there from the Hill. We await to see it then. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. Thank you.